good forecast as we are heading into the weekend. But like I said earlier, just a little bit of a cool down, right? Yeah, just a little bit of a cool down. And we're feeling the chilly temperatures this morning, and that will be the case for the next few mornings and a chilly weekend in store as well. And I'm going to talk about that here in just a moment. Okay. But one to start off with a WYMT weather class photo from mm -hmm. yesterday. I made a visit out to East Perry Elementary, and these were a great, great group of kids here, third grade kids. And I tell you what, Miss Kelly really had these kids prepared. They had a nice song for me at the end. It was excellent. And they were really on top of their game. They've been studying some weather stuff, some science stuff uh, since August. So uh, they were prepared and they knew a lot of things about what us meteorologists use, you know, to measure wind, uh, temperatures. And they were just a great group and uh, they had a lot of good questions. I enjoyed my time out there. But speaking of those cool temperatures, I tell you what, it is chilly out there. We're dealing with a little bit of fog this morning across southeastern parts of the state, but not too bad. Just some of those valley locations got some dense fog less than a mile or so. So if you live in and around those areas, just take it easy. But back to those temperatures, look at these readings. Lower 40s in a lot of spots. We're seeing those mid to upper 40s in and around Jackson this morning. But overall, a chilly start for many across eastern Kentucky. And here's a look at that bus stop forecast. I'm going with a high of 69 degrees this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine overall, just a true fall feel to the air. Get out and enjoy it if you can, because it is going to feel fantastic outside. Now, looking at live pinpoint Doppler, the good news is we are nice and dry across eastern Kentucky, it's showing you a clean sweep here across the viewing area. And that is because high pressure is currently spinning across our neck of the woods, but it's going to begin to weaken out. And as it does so, that's going to head off towards the east. That's going to allow a cold front back towards the north and west, working across the Great Lakes region. That's going to dive towards the south and east, eventually heading into the Commonwealth over the next 12 to 24 hours. And that's going to overspread some cloud cover as we head into tonight and early Friday morning, along with a straight chance for a shower. Now, as we put future view in motion here, we'll see a pretty nice day prevail. Temperature is going to top out in the upper 60s. And here comes that cold front. And here comes the cloud cover as well, spreading into central Kentucky, by around 11 o'clock tonight that pushes towards the south and east heading into eastern Kentucky through the overnight hours and into early Friday morning. And yes, just a slight chance for maybe an isolated shower across the Cumberland Valley, even across far southeastern Kentucky in the Big Sandy and even here in the Kentucky River Valley. But we're talking a slight chance at best, maybe a 20% chance for a shower, and it's going to be early on through the day. Now, this cold front's going to quickly push through eastern Kentucky. That's going to take any shower activity along with the cloud cover along with it, and that's going to all work towards the eastern coast. And we're going to see a pretty nice day shape up for our Friday, becoming mostly sunny. Temperature's going to top out there in the mid 60s, but overnight lows are going to cool off into the low to mid 30s because we're going to have high pressure beginning to build across the region. That's going to lead to a chilly night, calm winds. It's going to allow surface temperatures to drop pretty rapidly there. So as we head into early Saturday morning, look for a chilly start. Temperatures only topping out in the mid 50s for high Saturday afternoon. And yes, overnight lows back into the lower 30s. And look at these temperatures as we head towards the weekend. You can see some of the purples and the blues here across central and eastern parts of the state. That's that cool air mass we're talking about. And it's really going to cool things off as we head through Saturday and Sunday. But the good news is we're back to more seasonal numbers as we head into early to next midweek, back into the mid even upper 60s. So a cool down for the weekend definitely going to happen. But temperatures rebound nicely into Tuesday and Wednesday with readings back towards 70 degrees next midweek. So overall, just a quick cool down. But then we're back to more seasonal numbers as we head towards next week. So some good news there. Let's get a fourth and final check of the refrigerator art this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. Love showcasing all beautiful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Boo, he got me. That's for sure. A nice photo from Carly over at May Valley Elementary. Time now, 648. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT.